I bet you're all wondering why I've gathered you here today. Well, it's because today's road trip is to perhaps my favorite city, Athens, Greece. If you're looking for a quiet town to relax and catch up on your rest, then Athens is absolutely not the town for you. On the other hand, if you want to stroll through the pages of a vibrant, if jumbled, history book, then you've come to the right place. The subway stations and clothing boutiques have better archaeological finds than most national archives. Sometimes, when you find yourself in a strange place, it can be difficult to find your starting point. Not in Athens. The Acropolis still commands the skyline much as it has for millennia. It would be a bit much to say that all roads in the spiderweb of Athenian streets lead to the Parthenon, but it is true that you'd be hard-pressed to find a better place to begin your adventures. You could spend all day wandering aimlessly within a few hundred feet of the towering columns, but it's best to get some context first. I would start at the gym that is the Acropolis Museum. I've been to a lot of museums in my travels, and I can assure you that this is one of the best. With a solid foundation, make your way up the steep steps to the Parthenon itself. The views are as breathtaking as the history. Take it in. Try every once in a while to tune out the hustle and bustle that surrounds you. And picture this place as it was at its construction. As you descend back into the tempest of Athens, your history book starts to go wonky. Regardless of which of the countless alleys you follow, you are greeted by a grab bag of antiquity. Medieval churches stand proud in the face of modern commerce. Olympic triumphs, both recent and those whose echoes have grown faint with the passage of more than a century, reverberate subtly. and art. Through it all races across time. After all of that, sit down and reflect on all that is wonderful in this city and country. Rest up and eat up, because there is plenty more to explore down the next street.